at 6758 Little River Lane, which is about a mile and a half from here, if you walk along the trail. It's not in the city limits, but since I bought my house here and I educate my children here, I do feel like I'm a stakeholder in the community, and we bought the house because we like Loveland. Uh, a little bit about me, I've served on any number of boards, both two of them national and several local, including one as president. And uh, I've been on them when they've been working, and I've been on them when they haven't been working. And if nothing else tonight, we can agree this isn't working. Serving on your community an elected position is admirable. However, there's a line between serving and ownership. And the community is feeling very strongly that that line has been crossed. I'm concerned about the transparency and integrity of several of the council's actions. The first is the Community Improvement Corporation, or CIC. It was formerly 11 members. It included all of council, the Chamber of Commerce, and the Board of Education representative. Today, it's five, with one council member, Mrs. Gross, the staff, and three people who have cozy relationships with client sharing, a relationship with Mrs. Gross, a professional one, um, and, <laughs> and ties uh, to the developers. All of that clouds the, account, the CIC's integrity. Mrs. Gross also serves as the sole council member on both the, on the CIC and the zoning committee. That's not representative governance. Mrs. Gross serves on six committees and while some members of council serve on none, including Mr. Weisberger, who's a 20-year council veteran. Third, there was one strategic meeting last uh, February, I believe, in 2016. There was a strategic planning meeting where the group agreed to economic vitality. That was not part blanc to demolish City Hall and launch the re its redevelopment. And to pretend otherwise is not transparent governance, but smacks of backroom deals. Good leaders value their constituents' input. They listen, they work hard, they work in partnership, and meetings are transparent. I know there was a brainstorm meeting a year ago with a small attendance, but today you'd have a different outcome. Let's face it, people show up when things aren't working. It's easy to ignore one or two grumblers, but when the room fills with your friends and your neighbors, it's time to pause and rethink the process. What's happening in this community is stressful for council, for the Loveland staff, and for the community. The seven of you have the ability to write that ship now. And tonight, I'm asking that you take two votes. The first is to return the CIC to its former and rightful composition. When you do that, you will put people on that committee who value the community more than they value anyone's bottom line. The second thing is to get together with a group of the community and study the branding, the infrastructure, the standards, the architectural standards, and everything else that's been spoken of tonight. We are at a crossroads, and collaborative leadership can right the ship immediately, but this tiresome three to four vote will never bend the community's will. Thank you very much.